Yeah, hello there and welcome to the United States Grand Prix. Now, as you can see, we have a couple of interesting strategies uh, ahead of us. Uh, Duran is on a two-stopper. He's going to be running standard the entire thing, simply because that's what the strategy allows. So we might push it a little bit on the last stint. But we're going to try something different with Piastri. And what we're going to do with Piastri is we're going to run a three-stopper, where we push as hard as we can the entire way. So I'm looking at... Looking forward to seeing how this works. Now qualifying, we qualified second and third, but there's a ton of penalties on the grid, so I'm really looking forward to seeing where everyone's starting. But yeah, I think uh, we'll do this. Didn't have the best setup for Duhan, unfortunately. The uh, the pieces didn't like me. I'm not tempting fate here. Sit tight and get ready. It's the United States Grand Prix. And it's lights out, and away we go! There we are. So, nothing too insane here, except for science. Um, McClure, I believe, qualified first, but he had a five place drop due to uh, penalty. Now, we're gonna run again Duhan on standard, uh, standard everything for the time being. So, as long as he can stick with Hamilton and happy, we're not gonna. We're not going to force him to run first, but we are going to force Duhan to give everything he has. Sorry, not Duhan, Piastri. Everything he has here because he started first. And I want to see if uh, currently we can make the three stopper viable in uh, the United States here. So we'll speed things along. We'll see if anything interesting happens. We're going to have to run conserve already. DRS is enabled. And we'll have to see it because conserve might not be enough. I forgot about this ERS, that's my bad. That should be enough. Yeah, we'll have to see if conserve is enough. Currently it seems okay. If there was a stage there, it looked uh, a bit awkward. Now, Duhan is kind of also reeling in uh, Piastri by the looks of things with, uh, with the help of the DRS, so... This strategy might not work if I have Duhan as uh, a hunting dog, if you will. So uh, we might just force him to run a little bit slower, but then again, he too needs fuel. So it's no big surprise. Him switching back and forth position there should be perfectly all right. Uh, kind of need... What happened? Oh, the pit window. Yeah, we're gonna we're going to push these mediums as hard as we can. First set of pits have already happened. Assume that's the soft runners, yeah. Oh, they've run wide. He actually ran Here's wide. Did he lose a lot of time? Now we see the Williams here. And they've gone wide. That's wide. very slightly though, so we should be okay. Slightly overheating is okay. Severely overheating is when you might get uh, problems. Now, as you can see here, Verstappen is actually catching up. He's doing way faster laps. So... I have to conclude that either Piastri is having a very bad day, or they have upgraded their car a bit more than we expected, which could also be the case. But uh, for now, we're going to just allow Piastri to run this tires to the ground. We can gamble on one more lap, I feel like. Just so we have a little bit more of breathing space on the hards. And we'll have him pit this one. Duhan, we can again wait a little bit longer. We can go balance too since he's uh, in a pack. And we'll allow him to do a couple of push laps here before we pit him. He is going to come out very far behind uh, Verstappen. So the other teams definitely have done something to the make their cars better, if you will. I uh, got distracted and forgot to pit him. That's on me. Let's run standard again. See how that goes. Piastri again can push everything. But uh, as you can see, he's been swallowed up by... Uh, he's been swallowed up by... Uh, like Claire and Verstappen. Caught up. Duhan is in fourth so far. So all in all, we're good. But this definitely shows that the AI will develop the car. I've had so many people tell me on Reddit mainly that the AI just doesn't develop their car. But uh, they do. I guess they use standard 
compared to us using intense. So if that is the case, that would explain why the player is so easily able to outpace the uh, the other teams. Is this safety car big? Nope. Let's see what happened. We can take a look now. What has Alonso performed? Here's Alonso's car. They've lost control. That's pretty bad. Luckily, he was able to continue, though. But I'm a little bit uncertain what I want to do with Piastri, because we can stretch these two stints. We can run light, for instance, run balanced, and try and stretch the stints to just keep up with the cars in front. If we want to do that, we're going to have to throw this in the trash can. And we're going to have to do this. Because I think it's it's definitely viable, as you can see. So, we're going to do this. We're going to change the strategy. Because we, we can't get that window we need out front to make an, an extra stop work. So we're going to have to change it here. It's just how things are. We also have to run, again, a little bit conservative. So that we can make these hards last until the pit window. Now, Leclerc should also be pitting fairly soon. I think Verstappen is on his final tire. So can we increase this gap? But looks like it, we will not be able to increase the gap because we're running. Uh, we're running so we don't destroy what li little is left of the tire. So uh, we'll probably get a little bit sad here we'll probably might we might even end up with a 3-4 instead of uh the victories that we gotten so used to but i'm gonna have piastri attack here towards the uh, the end of the stint and getting a little bit back but uh it's basically me having a bad strategy but they will be uh they will both be on the medium for the final stint so we might be able to gain i think we'll be able to catch up and then we'll just have to uh, see if we can make the overtake stick We'll put Piastri on the next lap. Let's just go aggressive. Then we'll put him onto the medium. Johan still has a little bit more life in uh, these tires before we uh, before we pit him. So let's just go attack for him too, honestly. And as you can see, Piastri came out six seconds behind uh, Leclerc and Verstappen. But we are going to have to save these tires, so we're definitely going standard. And we're going to keep that standard until basically the end of the race, sadly. Now, Johan again, we're going to just push these tires until they are practically worthless because we are gaining kind of gaining not any more gaining uh, due to DRS but uh, I'm thinking yeah we'll do one more lap on these and then we'll get the medium so that way we can run aggressive we can run attack if we feel like we have a need for it we'll come out a little bit behind uh, Piastri I assume yeah should still be able to uh, catch up with him though. So, um, six seconds to a lead, nine seconds for Duhan, but definitely still viable. So, Duhan can actually run at least aggressive hit until the end, which is good. So, we could potentially use Duhan to pull Piastri also up since he needs to save his tires a bit more. We'll have to see once we get a little bit closer. <clears throat> It's a stonking lap. Fastest lap from uh, Duhan. Not really a big surprise there. He is running uh, a more aggressive setup. So he has caught up to Piastri. Probably be doing the overtake here. Yep. And now we just need him to uh, pull Piastri along while we go for uh, the Ferrari and the Red Bull. And they're basically doing that on their own. I don't need to tell them, which is great. Five laps to go. Three seconds. Piastri has decided oh, that he doesn't want to... Sorry, Duan has decided he doesn't want to play second fiddle. Both of them are going a little bit back and forwards. So, here's the, here's the case. There's three laps left. We probably will get into strike the distance of... At the very least, Leclerc. So, let's deploy for Duhan here. And with that, we should get Leclerc. Yep. And let's also deploy for Piastri. It's a bit early still. But he actually made it past already. Let's go neutral. Piastri should... It's actually going to have to deploy to make sure that we keep up. 
Go neutral for Duhan. That way we can push towards the end. There we are. I think they're all attacked. Piastri probably won't be able to make anything really work here. Because of how things are. So we're going to go aggressive. We're going to allow push for the final lap. We're going to do the same for uh, Duan here. He's going to allow to use overtake and defend. And uh, sorry, he's already first. What am I talking about? We'll go defend. And we'll basically try here to see if Piastri also can make something work. See, can you use what little you have left to pull off an overtake? DRS is currently disabled. DRS is currently disabled. Sadly not, but uh, it was an honorable attempt. And we had way more... Uh, we were having a way bit better fight here than we usually have. Let's watch the victory celebration for once. Very impressive showing today for Williams. Yes, there's definitely cause for celebration here. This team can take anything that's thrown at them and come through even stronger. After an intense weekend, the team ends in... There we are. So, first and third. This is actually interesting for two reasons now, because Duhan getting first here, and Piastri getting third, means that they are very close now. Five points. We have three races to go. And again, Duhan, if he wins all three races, he's champion. So, uh, this is definitely starting to get uh, quite interesting, all things considered. Constructors, no chance of anything, any problems being caused. So, uh, Alfa Romeo still trying to get at Alfine, which isn't that surprising. Red Bull, Ferrari, Mercedes, Gasly did well. Very well, actually. So, uh, yeah, it was a fun uh, United States Grand Prix, and I hope you enjoyed and uh, I hope to catch you next time. Thank you very much for watching.